What is up guys, Carl Tucker here, and today I'm here with the haul video from my trip uh, to Japan in 2023, July. And it's uh, it's been quite a great uh, couple of, or a week and a half, I guess. And I did pick up quite a lot of things, so I'll show you guys uh, my loot from the least to the most. Uh, so we'll go off with the little gacha stuff I got first. So let's go off uh, with the coins that I got from the Pokemon Center. They have the gacha machine. And first I rolled the original one, or the second the second set. And this is the stuff that I got. I got, uh, let's see, Arceus, Arceus coin, Rayquaza coin, more Peko coin, a Piplup coin, Eevee coin, and a Turquoise coin. I also traded uh, what uh, extra more pickle coin I had for a Sylveon coin, which is one of the ones I was chasing after. So I'm really happy that that kid traded me. <laughs> uh, next, we also rolled the second set. We actually rolled ten times, but four of them were dupes. This is a set that came out yesterday. This is really new. We have the Slow Poke coin. This is actually a gift for uh, a friend of mine. So I know he likes slope poke, so that's, this is for him. Got I forget what this dog's called, but we got one of him. We got Mel Metal. We got the Greedent. We have Dragonite. Uh, we have the thing from Blizzard Hazard, I think. No, this is no, this is the new dragon, uh, the new pseudo pseudo legendary, I think, from Violet Purple, for Violet and Scarlet, but I forgot its name. Scarlet and Violet. And I got another um, Slowpoke. So that's for myself. So that is all the coins I got. We also got a free Pikachu coin from the Pokemon Center because they were, they were handing these out. So that's pretty cute. Very nice. Next, uh, we also did a lot of Pokemon gachas. A new one of these uh, battle things came out. Also, I wanted to get the Sprigatito but instead I got uh, Donald and Fuecoco. I forgot his name, Quax Quaxley? Yes, I think it's Quaxley. Quaxley and Fuecoco. Uh, these are okay, but I wanted Spaghetti or Pikachu, but eh, it's okay. We also got these, um, we also, also got a Bulbasaur keychain. I thought, I wanted Rowlet, and I thought this would be a squishy keychain, but it's actually just flat. So after rolling one, I was like, oh, this is not what I expected. So I didn't roll any more. But this is nice, I might give this to a friend, a Bulbasaur enjoyer. But yeah, it's 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 I it's pretty cute. Uh, another Pokemon two more Pokemon stuff that I rolled for is the the desk battle, I think these are called. Mimikyu and Mewtwo. I was trying to go for Greninja, but I got two of each of these instead. So I'll probably also be giving two of these out. Maybe two maybe to you guys, I don't know. If you guys uh, want one of these, feel free to leave a comment down below. I would, we might do a giveaway if you guys are interested. Maybe I'll just give out dupes of the stuff I have. But these are these are pretty cool. Uh, they have a light at the bottom where you can switch on, and it, it looks better uh, uh, not on camera. So yeah, but these are pretty cool as well. And then we also pulled for the chilling Pokemon on the life, uh, no, these are called, uh, don't, I don't know, what are they called? Floats? Yes, they're called floats. So I got the, at first I got the, uh, Totodile, which was okay, because I, I like Totodile, Totodile was pretty cool, but I mainly wanted the Froakie, and I did get the Froakie in my second roll, so I stopped there, because these two boys are pretty, they're probably my, Probably some of my favorite starters alongside Rowlet. So yeah, that's pretty pretty great. And then we also got another one of these. Uh, this is the new the new generation of starters have uh, this gotcha. It's kind of like a like pudding cup. So it's pretty cool. I got Fue Coco again. I got two Fue Cocos and I just gave up because I don't want to get Quaxly <laughs> much like this. So I gave up after getting two Fue Cocos, but yeah. Very cute. Uh, let's see. We also pulled some Witch from Mercury stuff. So I wanted Ariel. I got 
two of each of these. So I got two Guels, two Shadiks, and Shadik. I don't I know his name is Shadik, but he's he's a Shadik. And we got uh, El uh, Elon, Elon Kun. So I got two of each of these, and then we also got one Miorine, which is nice, but her groom's not here, so that's that's a bit sad. So maybe I try to hunt it down just because this getting these four, it's like, huh? <laughs> these are like the most uh, m most mid gacha pulls ever. It would even be nice if I got the Shushu, but no, got these. Instead. I, I'm pretty happy with Guel and Mio Rene, but but uh, you know they're they're kind of cool. They're kind of cool. Let's kind of look here. So next we also have the I got some I, I wrote some ReZero stuff. I got this Rem keychain. Cool, and then we we pulled the uh, blind boxes. So the blind box. Actually, no. I also wrote something from the Disney. This is uh, from Sinbad's Adventure, I think. This is a little tiger. It's pretty, pretty cute. So I wrote that. I wanted to be Baymax, but that's okay. So we drew twice for this Poppin Sweet collection. Uh, originally, I wanted I wanted a Piplup and Gengar, but we got. Uh, Gal uh, Galen, Ponta, and the Pip-Up instead. So, Pip-Up, very nice. It looks amazing, very cute. Ponta is pretty cute as well. It looks like a My Little Pony character. So, very nice. So those are the gacha stuff. So, another bit of small things that I got were these little Digimon mochi things. These are pretty, pretty cute. Agunimon, Vimon. I got Takata because uh, Gilmon was not no longer available, but I know for a fact that there is a Gilmon one. So that's a bit sad, but that's okay. Got these instead. And also got this from a claw machine. So it's a Haro. It's a green Haro. They also have the orange Haro from Witch Mercury, but the green's the OG, so I got that. And that's all the gacha. This is most of the small stuff I got. I also, oh sorry. Also, I rolled these two bags from the Pokemon Center as well. So these are pretty nice. In the vlog, I'll talk about the other kinds that are available. I don't have little paper anymore, but yeah, these are very nice. I'm going to use these for probably uh, my markers, my gun markers, and other small things. Maybe I can put my Vanguard uh, power counters in here as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Next, I also picked up a Vital Bracelet. This is for, uh, this, is, this is like my third Vital Bracelet for the B collection, but uh, this is the one with Shiny Grimoire and Mirage Dogamon. I didn't pick up the original one, I didn't pre-order it, and I saw this in Japan, so I picked it up. I actually used it while on, on the flight. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. No unboxing of this one just because uh, I haven't done some Vital Bracelet content in a while, but that's okay. Uh, next, let's move on to the stuff, the Pokemon stuff I got from Pokemon Center. These are like non-gacha things. So I picked up a bunch of deck boxes, which I already used just because I was buying cards while I was around, and I needed some deck boxes. So I picked up three deck boxes. These are this is the Erica one. This is the Pokemon card game one. I thought those looked pretty nice. So I picked it up. They're all full of cards already, so it's good. And also have the Decidueye deck box. This is a very cool deck box. You guys didn't know, Rowlet is also one of my favorite Pokemon, so I had to get that Rowlet merch represent. I also picked up the cool metal deck box. Uh, this deck box is not as good as I thought it would be, <laughs> honestly. It's a lot more compact than I thought. So you can't actually put in a full deck in there, I think compared to something like uh, this one. There's a little bit more space in this one you can put put in like a full deck. For this one, I think you'll need to put it into two different, put, put that one deck into two different slots, which is very kind of reductive, but it's also a lot thinner, so I guess that, that's okay. So I'll probably use this just to put my, my trade bait stuff if I'm going out, if I'm not bringing a binder. 
but this is pretty pretty it's pretty cool it's also i guess it's okay for uh, decks if you're not using double sleeves but most of my decks are double sleeves so uh yeah it's a bit, a bit sad but that's okay speaking of the cards we bought the ex start decks so i bought I actually bought a bunch of these just because i want a play set i didn't know it only came with one of the cover card so i had to pick up four just just be safe um but this this is why and greninja because these are two of my again my favorites so i picked them up i don't know i don't think the decks are actually that great though but hopefully we'll get more support later on and we'll get something good all right, moving on to the other stuff from Pokemon Center that I got. I got a bunch of sleeves as well. So I got the Greninja sleeve. This is, this is new. I think it came out on the day I went there. This is very, very sick looking. Probably use it with my Greninja deck. Got the uh, Decidueye sleeves. You know, use it with the Decidueye deck. I don't think it had the, this had a deck box. If this had a deck box I saw, I definitely would have picked it up. But I don't think there was one. Or it'll come out later. I don't know. If I said in Hong Kong, I'll probably get it as well. Also got the Erica sleeves just because, you know, get it, get it as a set. And we also have these sleeves, which I saw in Hong Kong before, but I didn't pick up because they were kind of expensive in Hong Kong. I, I picked them up for retail in Japan, so I picked them up there. So there's a Greninja again. Which one do you guys think looks better? This one or this one? I think they look, both look pretty good. But again, bias. We got the Sylveon ones, which is very nice. So like fairy type stuff. And dragon. No, these are these are dragons and this is fairy type. Yeah. I also have the Gengar one, because Gengar is also one of the goats. And we also have Lucario, which is yeah. I have a lot of Pokemon I really like, so whenever I see merch for them, I'll just pick it up. Uh, but speaking of uh, actually let's move on to the, the rest of the Pokemon stuff I got. I got a Froakie plush because I don't have one yet and I saw it so I picked it up. Originally I wanted to, uh, the Froki one that's like a little, probably a little bit smaller, probably something similar to this Jirachi I got here, this Pokemon Fit. I think there was a Pokemon Fit Froki before but it's probably not in the season right now so I didn't pick it up. I also picked up a Eevee Pokemon Fit with the Jirachi Pokemon Fit. So these are very cute. And I also picked up a Rock Ruff, what is this called? Meikurumi. So these are meant for a rough play, so you can give it to your kid and they can have their snot all over it and stuff and you can wash this. I think that's the selling point for this one. And this is like one of the cutest Rock Ruff plushes I've seen. So I picked it up. Rock Rush. Rock Rush is a good boy. Or girl. I don't know. But it's very cute. It's very, very cute. And when I, well, at the Puma Center, when I was buying stuff, they also gave me some free deck boxes. I tried one out. It doesn't fit that many cards, so I can use this to pit, put in some side deck stuff, I guess. Or just stuff that you might think is useful that you put it aside. But. Yeah, I think if you're using these, you can only put perfect fit sleeves into these ones. But I'll, I'll do more experimentation with it later. And speaking of the stuff, this is the actual package that it comes with when you get the Pikachu coin. I'm giving this to a friend, so I'm keeping it sealed. Alright, so moving on away from the Pokemon stuff, finally. We have some other card stuff. This is uh, sleeves. So a lot of you are asking me where I get my sleeves. I get them most of the time when I'm in Japan. Um, you, you can just go to any like card shop and they will usually have those doujin sleeves for sale. The, usually, the prices vary, but uh, it's usually around like 2,000 ish yen and above if you're looking for a pretty top tier waifu. Uh, picked up Kafka and... Uh, picked up Kafka and Himiko from Hong Kong Star Rail. Very nice. I think these are AI art, AI art stuff because I'm not sure what is happening on her foot there. So I'm pretty sure this one's AI generated. The calf one looks okay, so that's fine. But I wasn't really paying attention. But I just saw it. It, it, it looks nice from afar. Upon closer, uh, upon closer inspection, I might not have picked those ones up. 
or maybe not have to pick up the Ikimiko one up, but Kappa one is nice. I also picked up some of the uh, Kosaki sleeves. I actually picked up one Kosaki sleeves at this time. This is the uh, Skadi in swimwear. I think I already have this sleeve, but I it's in a four pack and I don't want to take it apart. So I bought this one so I can use. So it's very nice. So I picked up another Scuddy sleeve. That's pretty nice. And I also picked up the two John Darks. So very nice. I got them for, they were not that expensive. There's some other kinds that I wanted that were more expensive, but I didn't pick them up because I already have too many sleeves I'm using. But these ones I picked up just just for the ritual, you know, just to show you guys that I buy sleeves, I still buy sleeves. You know? <laughs> All right, uh, next let's move on to some of the other stuff that I picked up. I picked up a lot of Vanguard actually. I picked up the three new start decks, uh, Favonir, Orphis, and Grim Grace. So the the price the price tags are still on there, but I picked them up. I will do unboxings for this soon. I know I am late on these, but that's because I was in Japan, so you guys gotta forgive me. But these are very, very nice. These are super cool. And I also picked up a lot of Vanguard singles. I did want to pick up those uh, nation sleeves, but I don't have enough space in my suitcase, so I didn't. But I might have to go and pick them up locally if, if there are any left. Hopefully there are, I don't know. All right, let's move on to the other stuff. So I picked up some Spider-Man merch. You guys didn't know, Spider-Man is one of my favorites. So I picked up the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man Integrated Suit Final Battle Edition. This, I didn't pre-order this because I originally thought it looked kind of weird, but I regret it. I also didn't pre-order the Toby and Andrew, which are uh, is a very big mistake on my part, so. I, I did manage to pick this one up for a fairly decent price, so I did that. Pick up Subai Daman Nendoroid because I didn't pick this up before, but now that I have all the other Spider-Man Nendoroids, I might as well pick this one up too. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. They, they also have the Leopard on, but it's too big, so I didn't pick that up. Like, a Leopard on, you can get uh, this one at the back. It'll, it'll look pretty sick if you have it, but I also don't have the display space for it, so I didn't. Let me know if you guys want to see this unboxing. This is pretty old Nendoroid. It's 1716. It's like, I think, 500 ish. 300 ish Nendoroids that go. So this is pretty old. But I think it looks pretty cool. Oops. Some other Spider Man stuff I got. I played the Bear Brick Kuji for Spider Man, and I only got Venom and Spider Woman. Which is okay. Venom is, Venom's cool. Venom. Venom's dope. Spider Woman, she's dope too. So you can't really lose with that with that Kuji because they're all they're all Spider people, which I love. All right, next is stuff that I have to get. I got from the Gundam factory or Gundam stuff I got in general. So I picked up the Gunpla Kun DX. This is for my wife. She wanted to build Gunpla, and I think this is a very good starting point for her. This is even this is even easier than the SD kit. So if she can build this, I think the next step would be an SD kit. But this is pretty cool, it's very cute as well. And I think I can show you guys the runners. They're, they're very basic. So I I don't think she'll have a hard time building this. All right. Next is a. Robot Spirits Gundam RX-78 F-00 or F-00, whatever you want to call it. I think, I think it's called F-00. But this is pretty cool. I wanted to pick up the original one, but that one looks kind of dated now. And I think the decal, the little, not too much decals, but there's a little bit of decal on the this version of the Robot Tamayashi that I think looks pretty good. So I picked it up. It was pretty cheap as well, so I picked it up. All right, so next I picked up a popcorn container from the Gundam Factory Yokohama. This is the Haro, this is the pink Haro. They have the green Haro as well as the yellow Haro, but pink is from Seed, which is one of my favorite Gundam series. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but 
Seed has a special place in my heart. It's like one of the first Gundams I've, I've watched. I watched The Wing first, but honestly, as a kid, that show was pretty boring. Like I was, I was probably like ten when I watched it. It was, it was pretty boring. But what, what I'm obviously watching now, it's a little bit better, but it's still the animation doesn't really doesn't really gel in this current time period. But it was, it was pretty good for its time. I, I, Endless Waltz was good. Endless Waltz was really good though. Anyway, uh, here's the Haru. It's a pop-up container and it also has a little string for here if you want to use it uh, at an amusement park. Maybe I'll bring this to Disneyland or something just for the lols. But this is really cute. The, the ears here do open and close. So it's very, very cute. All right, next we have to move spots because uh, my desk is not big enough for these. I picked up some. I picked up a metal build. This is not from the Tok Tok uh, Gundam factory, but this is from a secondhand store. This is pre-owned, so there is a little bit of damage on the box, and there's a little little scratch on the actual uh, Strike Nora itself. But I think it is fine. So I picked this up. I really wanted this before, and I didn't want to buy a new one for marked up prices. And looking at the price in Hong Kong, it's, start, it's starting to go up a bit again. So I picked up while I was in Japan. Uh, I think over time it might go a little bit lower, though I don't know. So yeah, I didn't. I picked up that. If I if I can see a, a brand new one for cheaper, I'll probably pick that up later. Also. Since it didn't come with a brown box, I knew it probably would have gotten damaged in my suitcase anyway. So buying, buying a pre-damaged one was is it's it's okay. It's not it's not it's not the end of the world. All right. So I also got the Gundam Factory Yokohama uh, RX78 F00 Gundam Chogokin. So this is from the Gundam Factory. And it is, it is a pretty, it's kind of like a metal build, but it's not really. I can open up the box for you guys, since I'm going to open this after the video too. So, here we go. And when you guys uh, watch the vlog, which will probably be out next week, uh, you guys can see me actually at the Gundam factory. So, here it is. Oh, this is a beauty. Ooh, okay, there we go. So here is the Chogokin Gundam Factory Yokohama Gundam. What a beauty. I'm gonna need to find a place to put, put it. My Gundam shelf is kind of full, but I'll make an exception for you. I also picked up this uh, Robot Spirits Strike Gundam Deactive version for anime at the Tamashi Nation store. I went to the Tamashi Nation store and I didn't see too much things I want to get, but I want to get at least something from there, just as a memorabilia, you know, stuff kind of thing. So I picked up this one because I was probably gonna, I'm probably gonna pick this up eventually, so I might as well get it from the original source. So this is the deactive version. Uh, maybe I'll do an unboxing of this, but yeah. The last of my big items is the Skadi Skaha Sa Skadi. Second ascension figure from Quest Q. Got for pretty cute. It's only uh, pretty cheap. It was only twelve thousand yen, so not six hundred, six hundred, six seven hundred ish Hong Kong. It did get a little bit damaged in my suitcase, a little bit there, but that's okay. I want It's for myself. I'm not trying to resell this, so it's fine. She looks great. I do want to get the other Quest Q Skiddy figure later on though, but uh, I'll see. Yeah, she looks very good. One of my favorite Fate characters of all time, so I had to figure out. Pretty much, I'm just in this trip. I'm just picking up everything that I really like because <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while since I've been in Japan. Uh, I'll explain more stuff in my vlog video. Oh, let's move up back to the table. But yeah, the vlog should be out next week. I need a little bit of time to edit it, and I also plan to do it a little bit differently than my usual vlog of mine. But I think that's everything I picked up in Japan. Oh, maybe, do you guys want to see my singles? I also picked up a bunch of 
cards. I might, maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's just too much, just too much to go over. I picked up too much, too many cards. These are, cards. These are stuff I got from packs. These are all the Vanguard singles I got. And I picked up two put one decks. I picked up a Neon Skirada deck as well as a Gardevoir deck. Just so I don't have to buy the pieces individually. I guess we can quickly go through some of the Vanguard stuff that we got. And then we'll go over the Digimon stuff afterwards. So I'm not going to go over the names just because. So for these. Sparrow cuties. I got another one afterwards, but got some key cards. Got some stuff for Orphis mask later on. Got some Ballista stuff. Ballista stuff. We got these cost me a fortune. <laughs> uh, more Ballista stuff. Got some Eva stuff. Eva stuff. You guys can probably see what decks I'm building just from looking at the stuff. I know, I know it's banned, but uh, or, or as choice restricted, but I can use this as an Orphist, which I will probably maybe pick it up just in case. Picked up a bunch of these. I think I got it for this price, but yeah. Okay. Uh, picked up a bunch of. These for Overlord. Picked up a bunch of these. Picked up more of these for Overlord. Picked up these for probably Jet. And I didn't really have time to just check out all the prices. I, later on when I went to different card shops, I did see some for a little bit cheaper, but it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. I picked up some gear, pro, uh, some promos for Pale Moon. Some triggers for Pale Moon. Triggers for Keter, PBO, PBD support. So lots of good stuff, lots of stuff there. Also picked up a, a place of Stasis, the promo for Genesis. That also cost me a fortune, but that's okay. Pick up the Eva promos, that also cost me a fortune, but that's okay. It's uh, acceptable. These are not important. Yeah, my Digimon stuff, I didn't actually pick up that much because um, my Digimon collection is actually pretty complete for the most part. It's just the old odds and you pick up some of. I picked up these because I don't actually have any of these, but I picked up most of them, I think. I think most of them are. Wait, where is the... Okay. There you go. So, picked up most of the Tamer Battle uh, rewards. Just because I don't have time to go to these in Hong Kong, so I didn't. I don't have any of these, but picked up one of each of those. These are my alt arts. Picked up the stuff. I finally have a playset now. Uh, just picked up stuff from the new set that I was missing. I could probably probably could have picked up for cheaper in Hong Kong, but I didn't want to risk it, and it was a price I was willing to accept. And these promos are probably a bit hard to get in Hong Kong, so I picked up all the ones I was missing. Plus the Aboromon. Where is my... Where's that other deck box? Okay. There you go. So also, some some uh, of the wafer cookies. I got got two of the best ones I wanted. <laughs> got the, the Forger family, as well as Anya and Bond, which is very cute. Pick of these, which definitely cost me a fortune. I'm not gonna show you guys the price because pain peco. And these are the stuff that I got pretty much on the second last day. So picked up the Abormon Ace, which I forgot to pick up before. Brigade Mons. And I picked up some other generic stuff. So yeah, that's all the stuff that I got in Japan. Lots of money spent, but that's uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Probably would have costed me way more if I got it in Hong Kong. And it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the vlogs. I'm going to try to edit it and finish it by next week. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to use the affiliate links below. Affiliate links down below if you guys want to support the channel or become a member to see some exclusive content from my trip. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. This is Karadaku. Bye!